Yo, how's it going? So, today I just want to, I guess, go over what I have for Orochi so far. So I hit Rep 4, or Reputation 4, and I'm level 6, and I have 108 gear score. I have some pretty cool shit for him. I enjoy the way he looks, and I guess I'll just show you what stats I have currently, and I just talk about my thoughts and opinions on the game so far. Just open one scavenger pack, or scavenge pack. Oh, that's a new helmet. I haven't seen that one before, so that's pretty cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which one do you like more? Okay, let me, uh, let me take off the ornament. I think I like this one more, honestly. I'm just not sure. I'll leave that one on for now. So, everything maxed out at level 18. I spent uh, quite a bit of steel and samurai salvage to max out everything that I had, but I did it. And I guess I'll just go over the stats so far. So, I prioritized exhaustion recovery here. Just because I already have my revenge mode stats basically maxed out other than this. And when you get heroic gear, two stats have increased benefits. And then one is just like drastically reduced. So my debuff resistance is dog shit, but you know. Uh, my sprint speed is basically all the way down. My block damage is quite a bit up. And then my execution health regen is maxed out. Uh, revive speed is as low as possible. I don't really care about having a fast revive speed because I don't really find myself in situations that often where I need to revive someone fast as fuck. But then uh, stamina regen is pretty high and block damage resistance is maxed. Attack maxed, defense reduced, stamina cost reduction increased. I'm okay with defense reduced because on this I have block damage resistance up and on this I have block damage up so I don't really care about this. Well, that was fucking rude. And then on the hilt I have revenge mode defense all the way up and revenge gain by defense quite a bit up and then feet cooldown reductions as low as possible. I don't really care about feet cooldown reduction once I use them once I don't really need to use them again instantly. I can manage without them. So my revenge gain by defense means that when I goes up faster and my revenge mode defense is higher. So if I'm ever in a 1v2 or 1v3 situation, I just have to block until I get revenge mode. And then even with the duration being lowered, as you see there, it doesn't really matter that much because I have everything maxed out for it. So like on my guard, Revenge mode attack is basically all the way up. Well, it is all the way up. And then revenge gain by injury is quite a bit raised. So if I don't manage to block an attack, I still gain quite a bit of revenge mode for it just because of that stat. And then throw distance is all the way down because I don't really care about throwing. This is the nicest one that I've seen. I like the hilt and especially this guard. I saw another hilt, but I just, I like this one more. It was just more like traditional styled, and it has like the gold underneath. I think it looks nice. I just got these arms, I put these ones on because they matched like the leather on the body that I have on. So being Reputation 4, I don't have any additional ornaments, I just have the one that I bought. I only have these two materials. When I get to the end of Rep 4, I'll get this one. And these are all of the colors that I have. I really like that one. Yeah, all the way down to here. Just so I can give you an idea of what to expect. And then for... Patterns, I have all these. You don't really get any cool patterns until later on, like these ones and shit. Like that's rep 10. I don't like this one. Looks cool as fuck. That's rep 18. 
and then engravings when you hit rep 3 level 20 you get the uh, tiger fighting the dragon it looks like can't really see it very well but that's currently what I have on it's the one gripe that I have about like the bodies and shit is when you have an engraving on you can't really see the engraving very well it doesn't stand out too much and then here's all the symbols that I have. Some of these are from Ubisoft Club, some are from pre-ordering, but you get the idea. And I did unlock, you know, this one. It's probably one of my favorite in the game. And I unlocked this emo, just because I like taunting people. But yeah, so that's everything I have so far. Um, my thoughts. I think it's a really good game. I enjoy it. It's really buggy. There's a lot of things that happen that should not happen. I'm going to go over that more in a different video. But there's just a lot of shit that happens that should not. I do have multiple recordings of it, but I'll just show one now. I literally killed a guy, and it prompted me to start an execution, and the execution disappeared, and the guy came back to life. When it prompts you to execute, that means they are dead. And the guy came back to life, and killed me. It's happened numerous times, and it's pretty fucking ridiculous. There's a lot of problems with the guard breaking, like small things, like lag in itself, because the network that they use for the game it's just laggy like peer-to-peer -peer, but it's like partial hosting i don't know it's fucking weird it's it's not a very good system to say the least the characters are awesome i do like all of the characters peacekeeper is without a doubt the most busted character in my opinion because I've noticed that a lot of the times, like let's say she'll go to do like an overhead, before the overhead connects it'll show she's attacking from the left or the right and then at the last second switch to overhead. And she doesn't cancel the attack, it's just because of the lag and then the input delay, I'm assuming, like, or I guess the ping, because Peacekeeper can attack so fast that when this person's spamming attacks, it like can't keep up with it so it'll say they're attacking from the left but they're attacking up so it just really fucks up and i have it happen with peacekeeper more than anyone else where i die or you know take damage because they're attacking from somewhere that my screen's not telling me and it really sucks um i did see that they buffed valkyrie which is pretty cool i'm excited about that i am just slightly disappointed because when you're no reputation, you can only get common gear. And then rep 1, you get rares. And then rep 2, you're still getting rares. And then rep 3, you get heroic. I went through rep 3 and rep 4. Well, I'm, you know, level 6 and rep 4. But at the start of a rep, you get all of the gear. Just later on in the rep, you'll get higher levels. But cosmetically... Wait. You're able to get all the same stuff once you hit level 1 of a reputation. Since hitting rep 4, I haven't gotten any new gear. And it sucks, dude. I was hoping to see some new stuff, but I haven't really seen anything new. And then my other thing is, I'm really concerned if there's going to be a tier for gear higher than heroic. I'm hoping there is, because if there's 30 reputation levels and it ends at heroic which you get at rep 3 that's going to be really really stupid because that means that you're going through 27 more reputation levels with nothing new except for a couple aesthetic pieces which is really dumb um so i'm hoping that when i hit rep 5 or 6 i'll see a new tier higher than heroic and get some new gear hopefully Something that's like golden or like black or something. Like if I get a black blade for my sword, I would shit myself. But yeah, today's uh, today's my birthday. Felt like uploading a video, you know, just because why not, I guess. I'm going to try to go out to a movie or something tonight. 
and I'm not sure what else I have planned. Probably try to get to like level 14 or 15 before the night ends with Orochi and then get to rep 5 tomorrow and see what that has entailed. I hope this was somewhat informational for you having to do with reputation levels and everything of that sort. As you can see me going over this earlier, when you hit heroic, the gear has a max level of 18. So you have a max gear score of 108 and it turns yellow. That's why I was saying I hope there's something higher than heroic. It'll probably be like legendary or something if it is there. Because if you think about it, when you're in common and you max out common, it turns blue. And blue is the color of the rare gear. And then when you max out your rare gear, it turns purple, which is the color of heroic. So then when you max out their heroic gear, it turns yellow. So I'm assuming that there's something higher than heroic. And I guess we'll just wait and find out. I've been keeping up with the uh, Reddit, waiting for someone to post if there is something higher than heroic. Just kind of biding my time. But yeah, like I said, I hope this video is informational for you guys. I'm going to try to go see John Wick 2 or something now. I'm not really sure. But I will definitely have another update video for you on my character if I get some new gear or whatever it may be. Um, hopefully there's something higher than heroic so I could show that off to you guys. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.